On today's video, we're talking editing your real estate photos with AI. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up everyone? Aaron here. Thanks for coming by and checking out another video. Now, if you're new here, consider liking, subscribing, hitting that bell notification so you get notified when I release new videos. Now, that being said, today we're talking how to edit your real estate photos with AI. Now, this software is amazing. I've been using another version of this, which was um, Illuminar 4, which I still use. Then I picked up a copy of Illuminar AI, um, I actually had it before it was released. It was kind of like a beta thing I was trying and I just haven't gotten around to doing a video. I'm sorry, but now we're doing it. So let's check out how we can use artificial intelligence to edit our real estate photos. We're going to jump on the computer here in a second, but first, if you do need a copy of this software, feel free to use the link down below. It is an affiliate link. I'll make enough to buy a cup of coffee. I would truly appreciate that because I drink a lot of coffee. Now, let's jump on the computer and check out how this stuff so works. We got Luminar AI up and running. And like I said, I've been using this software for a little while. And if you do want to get a copy of it, check out the link in the description. Again, it is an affiliate link and I would appreciate it because like I said, I drink a lot of coffee. I can use a cup. So you're going to click on catalog. You can import photos of all of them, single images, recently added, recently edited, lost edits. So you can see my folder here. I can add another folder by clicking on the plus sign or albums. But here's a drone shot I did of a house recently. Well, uh, yeah, it was earlier this year, uh, late last year. So here it is, pretty eh, not much to it. Now, you'll see other images down here that you can scroll through. And what I want to do is go over to templates first. Now, templates, you're going to give you a bunch of different options. You have, you know, for this photo, It'll tell you some different ones. So let's try, well, let's try this one. Let's put New York, see what it does. Not bad. It changes it a little bit. Let's do Melbourne. Nah, Toronto. All right. So these, nah, nothing of these that really catch my eye. So I want to go back to, let's check out some dynamic stuff. Uh, let's do Night Thunder. Ugh, terrible. So you can see these go pretty quick. I'm going to go back to what I normally use, and that is going to be. So we have clear and sharp. This is going to clear the image up, sharpen it a little bit. We have a fast fix, pleasing touch, clear skies, simple. I'm just going to go with the clear and sharp for now because what we're going to do is we're going to click on this edit button right here. Take a look at some of the tools. So you have your essentials. So you have your enhance. It's AI enhance. You can bring it down. You can bring it all the way up. Now, if there was more sky in this, you would see the sky enhance. For the sky replacement, you need to have a good majority of the sky being shown. And I'll show you that in a, another photo here in a second. Then you can check out your composition. You can erase things, which I will show you on another photo. We can then work up the light. So let's say we want to have a little more contrast. We want to bring down the highlights. We want to bring up the shadows. We want to bring down the white, bring up the black. And then you also have your S curve that you can play with. Now we can go into structure and this is going to give you more of that dramatic look. And then you can boost it to make it really dramatic. So for me, that's not going to work. I don't want that. I'm just going to bring that down here to like six and leave it. Then you can start adjusting your colors. So you can, you know, be a little more saturation, a little more vibrant You can do your black and whites details, small, medium, large, sharpen. I mean, you can really dive into the photo and it does it really well. Now, landscaping is something I do like. So especially if you're photography for houses, you can make it a little bit more like the golden hour and we can enhance the foliage. You just don't want to do it too much because then it looks like you're walking down the Emerald Brick Road, but just a little bit. And now this was, this is, I think, December, right before Christmas, I took this. And actually maybe right after Christmas before we started getting snow here in Connecticut. So, you know, a lot of stuff was dead. I don't want it to look too fake, but you know, you can see a side by side what it originally looked like, you know, before and after it's a completely different photo. And if I want, if, if for some reason, like my photo wasn't taken, I didn't have some setting or I forgot to do a setting and it wasn't quite right. As long as you're taking raw, you're going to have enough uh, data there and image data to be able to you know, pull it out and make it look halfway decent. So let me pull up another photo for you. Okay, so here's an interior shot of a house I did recently. 
and this is a really big room and there's a whole bunch of things wrong with this photo but that's why we didn't use it so i just want to show you kind of like how to edit it again you can go to the templates you can pick you know whatever you think works best for that photo and i'm gonna go back to fast fix here i kind of like that little well uh, yeah fast fix we'll just leave it there let's adjust as we need so one thing that's really nice about this is you can do local masks which i'll do another video on that i'm not going to get into that right now but when you're in your um when you're in your editing you have again your essentials you have your creative so uh i'll show you this with an outside one i don't want to it's going to look weird if i add sun rays coming in here portraits for your faces professional here so one thing that i do want to show you is when we're going through our right, here it is erase right so we've gone through and now maybe i want to erase this right here or i want to erase this thermostat off the wall once you select erase it's going to prepare the image you can select the style the size of your uh, brush the radius and then you're just going to select or deselect so i want to select this right here i'm going to click on that and then let's say i want to click on this right here and get rid of that those two objects all i have to do now is hit erase this also works if you have like a spot on your lens which i did in one photo and i was able to remove that spot and you couldn't even tell so the ai is doing what it has to do and it's going to go through and erase this now it's probably taking a little bit longer just because i have a thousand different things open on my computer right now but as you can see now they're gone like they were never there before how easy is that going to make your editing when it comes to things in houses or on landscapes when you need to erase something a power line what have you to make the photo look better it's super super easy then if you just want it back all you do is hit the back button and it's going to bring them right back so that's really nice i i really like that feature so i'm not going to go into editing this whole photo let's go to an outside photo where we can change out the sky all right let's select uh we'll do this photo here so again left click double click it'll open it up and i'm not going to go through and, and do any of the edits on this what i want to do is go right to some of the creative stuff so this has sky augmented sky sky replacement atmosphere sun rays dramatic um you know you can make this or the whole picture look more dramatic but what i want to show you and this was also in luminar 4 and this is why i like this program a little bit more in luminar 4 is the fact that it has a little bit more ai and it really helps me edit faster so if i want to do a sky selection they have all these different ones that are already here and what i'm going to do is let's do a blue sky bam i now have a blue sky in my photo it's actually going to change a little bit the dynamics of the photo and i'm good with that now let's say i want to augment the sky maybe i want to put a uh, a balloon in there bam there's the balloon and then you can move it and replace object and stuff like that so you can move it around you know you can make it bigger you know what have you but as you see that it puts it behind the other clouds which is it's kind of cool so maybe i want to have you know for whatever reason you wanted to have a a photo of a of a balloon you know a hot air balloon in your photography or your image for whatever you're doing you can get very creative you know you want to add some fog haze mist you can do that for with atmosphere there's a lot of stuff now let's say i want to put the sun in there and i want to have more sun coming in so i could put that there place the sun and now i can adjust the amount of sun coming in the ray the rays the overall look the strength of the rays everything so I can make it like, oh, I don't know, I can't do that noise, but you know, something like that. So that this edit went from this to this. Now, would I use this in any real estate photography? No, I would not have a hot air balloon in there unless it was real. But sky replacement, I use all the time because sometimes, you know, we don't have a great sky. It's better to shoot when it's a little overcast because, you know, things aren't, you know, uh, washed out and whatnot. But that's how i i use luminar ai to to edit real estate photos so yeah i i don't know i let me know in the comments what you think i think it's a great program i think it's going to cut down on your editing time and the stuff you can do with it is just amazing like this erase feature alone 
you know, I think to me just saves a day. Let's say I want to get rid of that. Oh no. Let's say I want to get rid of that leaf right there. I need to make my radius a little bit bigger. So yeah, I want to get rid of that leaf right there. Gone. Mm, you know, I don't know if we could take this out. Let's try. I, I, I don't know how good this is or how big of an object it can do. Because I've only done it on small things for my needs. But let's just say you wanted to get rid of this rock that covers the well out of there. Let's see what happens. You're going to be the first to see this with me. Let's take a look. Let's see what happens. I, I, I don't know. I'm hoping it does a good job. But at the same time, I'm really, really not sure if it's going to do a, a good job or not. And it's gone. I think it did a really good job. That's crazy what just happened in this photo. That's that's insane. I, I do really like this software. I don't know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below. And I cannot wait to see how you're going to use this in your photos. Link it out. Link, leave some links down there to some of the photos you're editing this. I can't wait to see them. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.